all I'm going to do is take take a, a little shift and just highlight some things that I have come across that have been essential in my journey. So I am supposed to be speaking on social entrepreneurship, um, but that is quite difficult to give specific tips ar around how you get there. Um, but I hope in sharing my journey, you'll be able to do some things that'll be relevant for you. Um, so my journey started out in Ghana. I lived there for 17 years and I highlight um, the things I was exposed to because some people may not necessarily have this background. I grew up in a lower middle-class family, Christian farming fam family. And then I had the opportunity of spending two years in Costa Rica through a scholarship, um, which really changed my life and my perspective um, at that age, being in on a campus with students from over 60 different countries. It's just life altering. Um, after that, went to the US where I did my undergrad in biology and had my master's in computer science. And at that point, I was very much interested in bioinformatics research, and that was the trajectory in which I thought I was going. Um, and life happened. Though because of a regulation which involved the visa that I had, I could stay in the US as long as I wanted, but all the jobs that I got, I couldn't take them because now my employment authorization was taken away. So it was either I stay in the US and just be there, or I find something else to do. And um, an opportunity opened up for me to come back home to Ghana. And I took that. I came to work um, at a tech incubator where we were helping um, startups build their companies from Nigeria, Ghana, and Kenya. And that was an opportunity to also become a local open data advocate or leader because a lot of these companies were not necessarily thinking about the power of data and, and open data became the avenue to really leverage on these skills. Um, I quickly became known as a, the open data person <laughs> um, and that opened opportunities for me to work um, for the next four years after that um, with first open knowledge um, foundation, which is based in the UK working remotely, um, supporting other organizations, journalists, civil society organizations, governments, and really thinking about how they can make data sets open uh, for, for different purposes. The experience through that has allowed me to work across 30 different countries in five continents. Um, and, and the power of that, interestingly, is not in the technical skills. They are relevant um, from computer science and, and biology, but it has been the understanding of people, the ability to connect with people and the problems that they're solving and how to kind of sit with them on whatever journey they have and then be able to work backwards and see what tools and, and skills you can provide to, to them to enable them to get to their destination. Um, last year, I decided to leave my job um, to become a farmer. Yes. Um, and it is because I think looking at my career trajectory, my job or the jobs I've had have always been pointing to one thing. Um, how do I help enable people become better at what they are good at? Um, and I think from working all across these jobs, some of the things that stood out to me was that in particularly resource constraints environments, you have very talented people dealing with very difficult challenges and all they need to, to have is for people to point out what specific tools or processes they can have access to for them to get along their journey. And for me, growing up in a farm, farming family, I saw an opportunity to help smallholder farmers really leverage on some of the skills that I have to really make their lives much better. So that is what I'm currently working on. And also 10% of my time is helping other startups really figure out how they can leverage on data um, to, to solve problems. So one of the startups is trying to figure out how to develop simple tools to make migrant workers um, have better financial um, literacy. And another one is building educational platforms that can educate um, African children. Um, just quickly, what is Growing Gold Farms working on? We are working on four things, solving four problems. We want to figure out ways to consistently produce healthy and affordable food using sustainable and accessible practices. Um, then we want to build capacity of other farms and farmers to, to do so sustainably too, so transfer these skills on a broader distributor level. And then another challenge that a lot of smallholder farmers have is that they usually produce either one crop 
um, depending on, on the weather. So can we think of ways to diversify that, but also move the raw materials to um, processed forms? And then finally, make farms spaces for attraction, innovation, recreation, and fun. Um, there are very technical problems that we need to solve all across this, which will leverage on computation, economics, anthropology. And I think that's what makes it exciting as a, a, a social entrepreneur, if I can call myself that now. Um, on a typical day, I am reading about and implementing research to these problems that I've listed out, so reading papers around um, geolocation and how can you figure out um, the constituents of soil um, in order to determine what crops can grow around that without having access to internet. So these are very interesting problems to be really thinking through. Um, I think the most powerful thing, putting together uh, and enabling the team of people, you can solve this alone. So how do you sell that vision to people and, and allow that team to have the capacity to really solve the problem with? And then believing in ourselves. It's, you get to points where nobody else believes in you, but you believe in yourself as a team and you keep on working at it and you get encouraged and, and you keep on going because at the core you believe that you're solving something at least for yourself and, and other people. I'm just gonna quickly go through some what I call career anecdotes. Um, these are just my own reasons. Be versatile, that's one thing I've learned. Um, one of the things that have been important for me is to initially generalize, be able to have some understanding of a broad set of different things. So if you're a research person, still understand how to communicate with people, still understand how to facilitate, how to even do comedy if you want, just, just be versatile. At the same time to have one thing that you're known for. For me, is the ability to take complex things and simplify it for other people. To, to, to have and to be able to use. Um, see people um, and let people see you. And what do I mean by that? It is so easy to get bogged down in technical things and research um, and miss people or focus on the job. Those are all relevant. But I think when you see people in all the jobs I've done, I've had at least one person that I still stay in touch with or who knew me for more than what I was able to do as part of my role. Um, so they could either come talk to me, bounce ideas off me, knew about my passions outside of work. And even if you find um, employers that really care about that, that is actually much more powerful. And also let people see, especially people who are from um, um, backgrounds that are not necessarily um, predominant in whatever space that you're working in. Um, make sure that you create opportunities for yourself to be seen, speak, um, and I know sometimes it can be difficult, but speak, participate in events, um, try as much as possible for people to also know that you are more than just your title. And this is kind of like a joke, um, ground your identity in your job. No, do not do that. Do not ground your identity in your job. Um, your job will go away, it will disappear. Let your identity be much more than that so that when your job changes, when you wanna do something else, you still have that identity that will keep you going. When things fail, you still have that identity that will keep you going. And that's what's been keeping me going. Um, and I think in the same sense, people have seen my passions. And when they, even I was leaving my job last year, they were encouraging me. My team was saying that go do it, we'll support you in that. Uh, the last thing I'll say, breathe. The most important thing in this life is your life. Everything else is replaceable. And with that, I'll say stay human or humane and be open to, to whatever is possible given the space that you have. So I'll stop here.